Welcome back inside our Proactive Newsroom. And joining me now is Richard Spencer, the president of Iranian Resources. And Richard, it's good to have you back. How are you? Thanks, Steve. How are you doing? Good. Uh, lots to talk about. Um, you've put out a couple of news releases over the last little while, talking specifically about copper and silver and your successions there. And I, I just want maybe you could add a little context for the company about these uh, last two press releases. Steve, the story is really building very nicely. Uh, you know, it's like anything, you do a whole lot of background work and that's what takes the majority of time and you do all that sort of grunt work in the background and eventually things start making sense. And we're in that stage where we're able to start really building on our understanding there. So focusing on the Senken area where the press releases have been coming out of, um, we've got two targets for copper and silver where the soil data, so the sampling of soils under the jungle floor is showing a concentration of copper. And that coincides with some geophysical information. So those are the two targets that we initially started to, to talk about drilling. Senken 4 is something that looks very similar and we're doing the basic work on that at the moment. But the releases that we've put out in the last couple of days are highly significant because the one at Senken 1 is a bunch of broken rock that is really, really uh, well mineralized with, with copper and, and silver. And it's over a relatively big area, 400 meters by 500 meters that we've seen so far. We don't know where the limits of that are, is yet. But the exciting thing about that is that we're three for three, wherever this rock has stuck out from the jungle floor, it's beautifully mineralized with, with copper and silver. Now, the next step there is to drill. Um, those could be silly little tendrils of mineralization that mean nothing at the end of the day, or they could be three parts of a much bigger thing that is, is, is lying just under, uh, under the soil there. And the most efficient way of seeing what that is, to, is to just to get in there and, and, and drill. So we've got Senken N2 and N3 to drill. We've got now Senken 1. And the release that we've put out most recently is also a huge step forward for us because it's a very highly mineralized copper and silver fault. And the key thing about that is that we can measure the orientation of that fault. We know which way it runs. Mm -hmm. And that is the first time we've actually seen that in the field. And the mineralizing fluids that bring in the copper and silver rise up those, fa those faults. And they're going to uh, preferentially mineralize a band that's parallel to the fault. And so basically what we're seeing, we're expecting the sedimentary hosted silver and copper to be like a bunch of fingers like, like this in pan view. And what we're starting to see is what orientation those fingers are in space, because each one would have a fault next, next to it. And you know, although we couldn't say that much in the, in the press release this morning, it is hugely significant because we know which direction to, to move in to find that the continuation of, of, of that mineralization. So we've built from the, the, the soil sampling and sink in N2 and N3, and now we're moving on to actual rock that's sticking out from the jungle floor, and it's got the same sort of copper and silver in it. Really, really exciting stuff. And you know, so we've got four targets. The only way to, to advance them here to see what's under there is is to scout drill them. No, oh, it's going to be sounds very interesting. Look forward to seeing uh, the results of that of that scout drilling as well. Um, we also want to talk, obviously, about your gold exploration. Um, talk about silver, how, how silver right now is is on a tear as far as the markets are concerned. Gold's doing pretty well, also. So, tell me a bit about what's going on as far as the exploration drive for Arania. Well, we are a gold company, um, and we are beavering away on on the gold and silver targets in in the background. And you know, it's a little bit like what's happened with the, the copper. You do a whole bunch of uh, sort of background work and you know, all of that is building and then you get to a point where suddenly you start to understand what's, what's going on. Uh, and we expect the same thing to happen with the, with the gold, silver. We're 
working on the Shimpia Chiria target, which is a, a 15 kilometer band of silver dominated mineralization at, at surface, but we believe that the gold is underlying that. And we've got field teams that are in there at the moment working on that. So we, we expect to have some news out of there pretty, pretty shortly, but it's a, it's a huge target. And then doing some geophysics, some refined geophysics on, on the other targets to get back to, to scout drilling on them. So yeah, in the short term, uh, scout drilling on at least four of the copper silver targets and that ultra lightweight weight rig would move over to the, the gold silver targets any time that it's, it, it's justified. So that's what a li uh, lies ahead in the immediate future over the next couple of months. Well, it sounds like it's going to be super busy for sure. Uh, Richard, thanks so much for updating us on what's going on. And I know we'll check back in with you real soon. Thanks very much, Steve. Take All care. right, Richard Spencer, the president of Arania Resources.